that the data shows there's not much difference in terms of the two horse race between Sanders and Trump or Biden and Trump. Now, that's national data and sometimes you've got to get down to the state level and we got a lot of national arguments last time telling us Hillary Clinton would win and she didn't. But I think Democrats are likely to come out against Trump, whoever the candidate is, and there's not that many Trump voters that might take a second look at Biden and say, oh, OK, well, I might, you know, I've, <laughs> I'm going over to the other side. People are very locked into their parties. They're either a Democrat or a Republican in the United States. That's how they vote and behave. And there's very few swing voters, so very few people in the middle. And I think we exaggerate the number of swing voters quite often and think there's a big group of people who are undecided. I don't think many people are undecided about Donald Trump. There tends to be mm. a sort of I'm supporting him or I loathe him approach rather than, well, I don't know about Donald Trump. We've seen sort of three years of him, but I'm still not sure. There's not that many people in that camp. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.